Hello everyone, I am Run Zeli from Beihang University, Beijing, China. Our paper is for weighted instant radiosity. This work is together with Li Li Wang, Xu Huai Xu, and Zhi Chao Li from Beihang University, and with Lin Qi Yan from University of California, Santa Barbara. For weighted rendering is an efficient rendering technique that provides users different rendering quality in foveal region and peripheral regions according to the model of human visual system. The traditional rationalization method can be adapted to foveated rendering directly because it can render scenes with multi-spatial resolutions easily. But rationalization cannot easily render indirect illumination. Retracing method can also be integrated into the foveated rendering framework easily, but are limited by performance. Instant radiosity provides a solution for running global illumination for the dynamic scenes with diffuse surveys interactively. However, VPLs are independent of the user's viewpoint. So, VPLs in the instant radiosity method cannot be arranged according to the foveal region directly. To adapt instant radiosity to foveated rendering, we use multi-resolution illumination as a high-level idea, which means that the numbers of VPL contributing to the different regions of the output image are different. To achieve this goal, two challenges need to be addressed. One is how to generate VPLs for each frame based on the fovea. The other is how to maintain the adjacent frame stability when the fovea region, the viewpoint, or the scene change. We design a foveated rendering framework for instant radiosity to do multi-resolution illumination for different regions by controlling the number of VPL cast on them. There are five main steps. First, to generate VPLs efficiently, we voxelize the scene. Inspired by sequential Monte Carlo instant radiosity, we only use the rays emitted from the viewpoint and bounce them once to generate the VPL candidate. We sample the foveal region uniformly to get the 2D sample point in the image plan. The rays are emitted from the viewpoint to this sample point and reflected in random directions to intersect with the voxelized scene. The intersections are used to place VPL candidate. We propose a VPL for weighted importance that indicates the VPL's lighting contribution to the foveal region of the output image. The for weighted importance of VPL can be computed in two steps, voxel for weighted weight estimation and VPL for weighted importance calculation. First, we estimate a for weighted weight for each visible voxel in the, in the voxel light scene from the current viewpoint. In our implementation, a foveated weight map is generated on the image plan, and each visible voxel is projected onto this map to get the value of foveated weight. Then, we calculate the foveated importance for each VPL based on the foveated width of the voxels visible from the VPL. We perform a VPL management to select the optimized set of VPLs with the largest foveated importance to render high quality indirect illumination in foveal region, and we name them essential VPLs. In this process, the input are essential VPLs of the previous frame, and the VPL candidates of the current frame, and the output 
are essential VPLs of the current frame. Yellow point represents the essential VPLs of the frame I minus 1. In the frame I, the four wheel region and the aircraft's position change. First, we need to update the position and the normal direction of the essential VPLs of previous frame based frame I. The green point indicates the updated VPLs on the aircraft of frame I. If the position or normal direction of the VPL changes significantly, the VPL will be discarded. Then, we recompute the forwarded importance of the updated essential VPLs of the previous frame according to the current formula region and the scene. The updated essential VPLs of frame I-1, together with the VPL candidates generated in step 2 as a red point, are used to selecting the essential VPLs of the frame I according to the full weighted importance and the density control. After the selecting, the yellow point visualizes the new essential VPLs for frame I. The last step renders the scenes with the essential VPLs. We update the visibility of the essential VPLs of top 5% for weighted importance with polaroid shadow mapping. We adopt the deferred shading and the interleaved sampling method to rendering the indirect illumination with the essential VPLs efficiently. Finally, we combine the indirect and the direct illumination to get the final global illumination result. We compare our result with part tracing and instant radiosity. The color bleeding effect of our method is closer to part tracing than that of instant radiosity. In the yard scene, instant radiosity shows brighter orange on the barrier than the part tracing and our result. In the balcony scene, Instant radiosity meets the, the orange color bleeding on the ground. Compared with instant radiosity, our method achieves smaller MSE values in the foveal region. The MSE values in the foveal region of our method are consistently smaller than those in the peripheral regions. This figure visualizes time spent on each step for the sponsor scene using our method and instant radiosity. Since our VPL management scheme, our method can save 80% of the time cost for generating shadow maps. This table shows the frame running time of our method and the speed up versus the instant radiosity. Compared with the instant radiosity with 1000 VPLs, our method already achieved an acceleration of 3 to 4 times. By using more VPLs, LEQ achieved similar MIC values in the foveal region to our method. Compared to LEQ, our method achieved a speed up of 10 to 13 times. We have percent uh, foveated instant radiosity method to for running high quality illumination effect in the foveal region based on optimizing the distribution of VPLs over frames. Our method produces most illumination effect, suppresses the temporal artifact caused by sudden changes of VPLs and achieves better temporal stability than the instant radiosity method. Our method also supports a variety of dynamic scenes thanks to our VPL reusing scheme. That's all. Thank you for your attention.